I've advised us ladies, watch out for these things in saying yes. Don't just say yes carelessly and say time is going. The urgency on ground requires men and women who know how to burn the incense. Please sit down. There are spiritual forces that shape the minds of people. A lady sent me a text recently. She just graduated. As soon as she graduated, she said she's been feeling like tearing her clothes and running on the street. Now, do you think an intelligent person will behave like that? It's a spirit. How many graduates have you seen that the moment they finish on their way going home, a little kekena pep just turned and left them there till a truck came and climbed them? How many people have you seen final exam, final paper, they just find something on the ground and say that's it, you are gone. There is no such thing that is just, it's no coincidence. It's the manipulation of spirits. You have an assignment to sanitize your atmosphere. Let them know you are alive. Start with your atmosphere. Sometimes I walk around my house in the night. Especially when I'm around. I'm just walking around my house. Do you know, not too far from my house, there is a graveyard. I've not seen one ghost. One. One ghost. Where will it enter and come to my house? I'm dealing with matters of destiny, not, not a ghost coming from somewhere. What business has the dead, the living, to do with the dead? I even wanted to buy the place. They told me that there are, there are graves there. Ah, Apostle, don't buy. Why? You are, you are dead, you are dead. One time... Archbishop Benson Idahosa came and met that they killed a fowl. I think it was an incantation. And he saw it and he gave it that they should go and help him and cook it. They had already caught it. Say, why waste? Why waste meat like this in the name of nonsense sacrifice? God does not love wastage. He said, gather the crumbs that there be no wastage. See, let me tell you this. If you do not know the power of prayer, you will fear demons to death. Hallelujah. We sit down and allow spirits to roam around our houses. I know a man, true story, in Joss, years ago. He was slapped by, I don't know if he's a ghost or a spirit. He, he works then in the teaching hospital. And he said he used to hear, that means the, um, what they call that place, doctor? Where they keep, mortuary. In the night, while doing his work, true story, you will hear like discussions. You know, like people have woken up and they are talking. True story. And one time he attempted, he shouted, according to him, he said, shut up. And he, I don't know whether, he, he wanted to open the door or something. I stand before the God of heaven and I lie not. And the, the, the spirit slapped him until that man died. He did not recover. Spirits are real. Don't wait till you see them. They are real. My mother once told me a story. They went to bury someone. This thing did not... I'm, I'm not sure it's more than six, seven years. They went to bury someone. And physically, as they were dropping the coffin, fire, physically, fire came out and killed some people. Not parables, not vision. Fire came out. And kill some people. Have you seen people that they buried and you found a man back in your house? All these things will remain when there is no prayer. Just saying, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. That's not the way it works. We are legislators. We enforce things. We don't just wish things. This wishing mentality will cost the church a lot. No, it's impossible. Who am I that the devil will not come? Jesus went to fast. Satan went to join him. He was fasting. Satan was fasting too. He was waiting there for 40 days for Jesus. Who do you think you are that you will not come around your vicinity?
From whence comest thou, Jesus asked Satan. He said, from voyaging to and fro. There was not a place that he did not go to. Have you considered my servant Job? Yes, I came to his house. It's only that he built a fortification and I could not access. Hallelujah. Right now, people are afraid. Seven o'clock, people have to lock up their, their shops in many areas. They are losing in business. Why? Because some touts somewhere will come and waylay them and loot and steal money. And the church is just quiet. Don't be like Esther. But be like Esther. Parakatusiata. You sense anything around your vicinity. You don't wait to understand what it is. Tap your wife and say, wake up. When you do that twice, three times, one month, the devil will know where to pass. See, let me tell you this. Whatever you allow to happen to your life, don't blame God. Whatever you allow to happen to your family, don't blame God. I'm, I'm waking us up that territorial dominion truly happens on the strength of priesthood. Not a need-driven prayer. Hallelujah. I heard of a man recently for one, four years. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be sure so that I don't exaggerate anything. Four years, the wife refused to get pregnant. The man was tired one day. He came back from fellowship. The wife was sleeping. He came and knelt down and put his hand on top of her, her, her stomach and prayed that woman into pregnancy. No, I mean it. If I'm joking, I'll tell you I'm joking. He was tired of this thing and said no. She knelt down. You just sleep. You are my wife. I'm the one who paid your dowry. Let me face this spirit of barrenness. See, there are times in your life you need to get agitated spiritually. And stop allowing nonsense to just happen within your territory, within your family. Hallelujah. I was so encouraged when I heard it. Literally pray, not like impartation or yet. No, he sat down, knelt down on top of his wife's stomach and prayed in tongues until that report changed. You can pray some things out of your life and you can pray some things into your life. There are times that you can put your job, your 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 certificate on the ground and lock yourself from 12 to 6. You pray until where you did not apply called you. Our generation has not understood the power of prayer. Those who know how to pray are people who do not take no for an answer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They don't negotiate. They decide and agree. God, are you in this? If God says yes, declare anything that stands the way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless territory is a powerless territory. A prayerless couple is a powerless couple. A prayerless business is a powerless business. A prayerless ministry is a powerless ministry. Please sit down. Boy, our time is gone. The first key to territorial dominion is priesthood. Koinonia, pray. Don't just pray on Tuesday. Pray. Pray. You go back this night, trust God for grace. Even if it's 15 minutes, walk around your room a little before you lie down. Apostle, you don't know how busy I am. That is the excuse that is the door that the devil will use to enter your life. If you search for excuses, you will always find one. Let me tell you this. I have taught you and I pray you will believe it. Master the power of night prayers. 
master the power of night prayers a generation that sleeps all through the night into the morning is a generation that would not be powerful i'm telling you this see there is a time when you will enter your sabbath in experience a young man personally now it's not i'm not saying this is the bible it's my personal understanding that a young man who actually goes to bed by nine to wake up by six and you don't have time for your destiny you are building rubbles the night is when men who are men pray the night is when men who are priests pray. The night is when men who are watchmen pray. The night is when gatekeepers of destiny pray. Let me tell you sincerely, I have not slept in days like real sleep to take out time and sleep. It's a sacrifice. You are supposed to get a job that God will use to change your family and your territory. And while you are sleeping, they send a letter from a parastatum. We need these 41 names in the list. And there are spirits waiting there to decide what name will be removed. And every other person is in a Habali shrine, forcing his name to remain there. And you are snoring away. Your, your sleep is the marker that will clean your name out of that list. You can stay and insist. I may not have access to the office. But I can pray. I can pray. I've seen the ministry of angels in my life. I know that angels are real. I know that they are real when you pray. There are times I've tried to look for things. And I could not find them. And I prayed and slept. And in my dream. I got up and went to where it was and I woke up and went there physically and carried it. Many of us do not understand the ministry of angels because we do not pray. In the name of Jesus, every prayerlessness and spiritual laziness upon your life, I curse it now, this night. In the name of Jesus, all the movies, internet browsing that distract you i'm not saying they are wrong but if you can sit down and distract your prayer life i separate you from it now it was in the night that jacob wrestled with god and got power it was in the night that god came to solomon and he receives something men receive things in the night don't waste your night charge your atmosphere sleep under a heavy atmosphere of worship while you are sleeping you are receiving you wake up in the middle of the night and you know an impartation is ongoing see let me tell you these are not things we are these are things we have practiced for years Strong worship in that atmosphere while you sleep. And you will keep having all kinds of dreams. Sometimes the dreams will show you the root cause of things. Sometimes you are hearing a message and in the dream you will start acting the message. You are alive to the message. I, oh Lord, help our generation. Help our generation. Help our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, if you are a minister of the gospel in this place, that means you are in ministry or you are trusting God to be in ministry, please wake up. I deliver you from laziness. Hear me, ministry is not about suits and agbada and protocol. Ministry is serious business. You know, all this, and I say this respectfully to our younger generation most of these boys do not understand the gravity of attack that can come to your life when you are in ministry they are just happy and just loiter around in pride one attack will kneel you down you need to be powerful with god are we blessed 
Number two, goodness. The second principle of territorial dominion is the power of faith. Hebrews 11, 33. The power of faith. You cannot take over a territory when you doubt God. You cannot take over a territory when you do not believe God. Hebrews 11. Please read, everyone. One, two, read. Who through faith uh -huh, subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions. Listen. The Bible says, this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. What is faith? Your conviction. Your depth of persuasion on who God is and the integrity of his person. That convinces you enough to believe God and take action. You will need the audacity that faith brings to reign in life. Life is not for weak people. Life is not for risk averse people. Life is for men and women who are courageous enough to storm the gates of destiny. Ah, the Bible says that, listen, it said that Lot and Co were hijacked and captured. And Abraham said, what did I hear? You carried my cousin? Gather all the war men and let us go. Ah, courage. Courage. Faith. The righteous are as bold as a lion. That lion dimension is not supposed to help you harass people. The lion dimension is so that you will be able to stand in the face of situations and say you can bring your best shot, Satan, I will still be standing. It takes faith to build a church. It takes faith to start TV ministry that will bless people. It does not take money. It takes faith. First, it takes faith to raise your children. We are a generation that is obsessed with guarantee. Give me a guarantee that you will be there for me. There is no guarantee anywhere in destiny. Please hear me. Everybody say faith. When God called me to ministry, I called my father and my mother. And I knelt down before them and I told them, God has called me all my life. I'm going to be busy serving the purposes of the kingdom. My parents said, God bless you. We bid you Godspeed. Go well. That's it. I'm not doing well because the church I was serving before did not give me money. No, sir. Listen, let me tell you this. Faith creates everything out of nothing. Did you hear what I said? Your house now is in your faith. The money you need is in your faith. Please learn the laws of faith. Faith is predicated upon a revelation that God is able. The ability of God and his integrity. Everything looks impossible till faith brings it. God will never tell you what you can do. You know you have had God when what he says is bigger than you. When God told me of the things that you'll be doing with this ministry around the world, when God showed me and told me the things that you... The power of faith. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded 